What's up YouTube, Demolix here, and today I'm going to be breaking down the two after credit scenes for Black Panther. So spoilers ahead, meaning if you don't want to know anything about what happens at the end of Black Panther, then GET THE FUCK OUT! Are we clear? <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. The first after credit scene serves as an epilogue rather than a setup to a possible sequel. Feige, please, I beg you, put Namor in the sequel for God's sake! And could you maybe tease the Fantastic Four just a little bit? That'd be perfect, thank you. Kisses! Instead, T'Challa arrives at the United Nations and makes it clear to the world that Wakanda is going to come out of hiding and finally start sharing its advanced technology with the world, which will most likely lead to the entire world becoming more technologically advanced for better or for worse. So don't be surprised to see a more futuristic look within upcoming Marvel movies. We already know Tony Stark has taken advantage of Wakanda's resources in Infinity War, it's only a matter of time for the villains to get their hands on this technology as well. I'm looking at you, Hammer. Hammertech. The final after credit scene directly ties in with Avengers Infinity War. The setting takes place in a small Wakandan village. The camera pans to a hut where a group of kids are playing before Shuri appears and tells them to leave the man inside alone. Who's this man, Demolex? Can you tell us? Can you tell us, Demolex? Tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. Who is this man, Demolex? I need to know who the answer. Tell me! All right, dang, calm down, I'll tell you. The man is Bucky, aka the Winter Soldier. Awake from his frozen slumber, Bucky walks out of the hut, still only has one arm. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> On the bright side, at least he gets a vibranium upgrade in Infinity War. Shiri asks how he's feeling. He says he's feeling better now, meaning no more trigger words from Hydra. Shiri then says there's a lot more to learn, and the two walk off into the distance and have an interracial makeout sesh by the sunset. I'm just kidding about that last part, chill out guys. So there you guys have it, those are the details on the two after credit scenes for Black Panther. These are actually not that bad, they don't get me too hyped for Infinity War. We knew the Winter Soldier was going to be in Wakanda because that was shown at the end of Captain America Civil War. And I guess you could say the first after credit scene pays homage to the first Iron Man. I am Iron Man. And here you have T'Challa revealing to the world that Wakanda is 25 years ahead of everyone else. I haven't seen the movie yet, but T'Challa might have made a mistake to reveal the world that Wakanda has all this advanced technology. Because like Vision says in Civil War, Our very strength invites challenge. Challenge incites conflict. Conflict breeds catastrophe. But I guess it's either share your technology with the rest of the world or be in a constant battle over vibranium. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out to subscribe for more content from me on Black Panther and other films in general. I'm Demolex. Awesome in the future.